Your first step is you're going to take your drawing, your preliminary cityscape, and you're going to tape it on just like a book on one side. You're going to cover the back with the lead and transfer it on. Then you're going to start with adding textures and you're not going to try to color in the whole thing. You're going to try to create textures and volume. So that's the second step. The key with watercolors is not to try to get it on the very first go around. So you add layers. Now I added three different colors here on these trees, dark green, light green, and yellow. And where it's a higher key value, it's going to be yellow. Now, I'm going to leave that just like that. I'm not going to overwork that. I'm going to let the water do the work. And that way it's going to leave some of that texture in there. So this, after we get the colors on, will take just a few minutes at the very end of class to add the water and then leave it alone. Now remember, you don't want to add water to one area and then right next to it to the next area right away because those will bleed together. So you don't need much time, but you definitely need to give yourself some time. So now I'm going to come over to this side. I'm going to switch brushes because that's, that's a little big for that space there. And I'm going to do my browns. And then if I decide I want to come back in and add a little bit more detail on that, I can. Kind of wish I'd maybe used a little bit of yellow, but that's okay because, again, watercolor is a, an additive technique. So you keep on adding layers, but you can't take it away. Once you've got it on there, you cannot take that away. You want to make sure that you don't mix up the watercolors with the regular colored pencils. Go the direction that your lines are going. You can switch back to that slightly larger brush. Make sure that you, you uh, wash out your brush in between colors. And just go really fast, but don't go back over it more than one time. Let the water kind of blend stuff together. Now you'll also notice that there's not any black in your colored watercolor pencils. You'll have a regular black colored pencil, but the black watercolor pencil, it's not going to be in there in your set because the black watercolor pencil, if it gets in anything, it bleeds and it just muddies everything up. So the black colored pencil, you're just going to use that sparingly just for your details. So I don't want to get rid of any of that texture that I already have on there. So how do I know if it's ready? Well, if it's shiny, then it's still really, really wet. So I'm going to turn this around so I don't lay my hand in there. And I'm going to get the sky. But I think I'm going to start, I'm going to stop right next to the other pieces there, the, the, the building and the trees, just to make sure that I don't make those bleed together. I can always come back in and add a little bit more color in there. I can always push that color around a little bit more. But what I don't want to do is do all this work to get all these beautiful colors next to each other and then blend them all together. So you're going to be tempted. You're going to be tempted to like blend it all. Don't, don't do that, yo. You're going to take all that time to make all that beautiful texture. Do not make it all go away. And on the the hills here, I'm going to stop just next, just, I'm not going to go right up to those buildings so that I can go ahead and get those started painting in. And I'm rinsing my brush each time because the ones that are closer, I have a little bit more red, more warm colors in the closer ones, and more cooler colors in the ones further away. Be really careful not to let those touch right now. And then the next day, we're going to take two days to do this. The next day, we will add a little bit more detail after it's dried. So we want to make sure that your first and last name and hour is on the back. We'll have one person in charge of the drying racks, collecting your work. Then at the beginning of class, we'll get those passed back out. All right. Notice here I made my, my horse have a pink mane. So I'm going to add more to that. 
but I decided to make it just a crazy pink mane so that it's not blending in with the brown. I could make it a gray horse, but I definitely don't want to overdo it. So notice also where I don't have any color. When I put the water on here, it starts to fill in those colored areas. All right, then I'm gonna leave it alone. Add a little bit more color, manana. Ta-da!